I, my own observation has to do with uh, confronting the system. You know, you came from uh, a background of activism, you know, and you entered into politics. And I'm particularly passionate about governance at the grassroots because everybody here resides within a local government, you know, and we know what is really going on, you know, within that space as regard financial autonomy and some other issues. I know quite well that uh, there's a particular amount that comes from the Federation account every month, but it doesn't go to the local government directly. It stops at the state's level, they call it JAC, and JAC is where we give money, you know, to local governments under heat and all that. So, and we know for a fact, for instance, if you look at the records from the Ministry of Finance, August 2017, Mushin local governments, Amu World of Finance, local governments and all that, they got an average of close to 300, 400 million Naira per month. So, and this same kind of money doesn't get to, you know, the grassroots where development is in dire, you know, need. Sir, and you were in the saddle and you saw this. I know it is very difficult for one to, you know, actually uh, cause an uprising, you know, within that uh, kind of, uh, uh, I don't know how to you know, call that kind of a carcass or in a space. So I want you to speak to that. That is one. Secondly, it has to do with internal democracy as far as the emergence of local government candidates and what have you. So I want to know, because I, if you recall during the APC, because if you are looking at good governors at that level, you must look at it vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, the ways and manner people emerge, you know, as the candidates. A system where some certain people will sit somewhere and decree candidates. And you will ask people to come and get forms. You see aspirants running into hundreds. You collect over half a million from them. And you ask them to come for a primary, a centralized primary at the Slim Balogun. And everybody was there. All of a sudden, you brought out your own list in a broad day. And you started reading out the list you are prepared in your bedroom. And that was the first day of the month of Ramadan. That people from Ekbe, from Ikorodu, from Badagri would have brought in their delegates from all over and probably calm them so that another aspirant will not hijack them. And at the end of the day, we, did, we couldn't even hear anything from people who are exemplars, if I should, yeah, so you I'm know, I'm in the struggle. I'm compelled to stop you now. now. Coming to the issue of Jack account, during the military, before the advent of this uh, democracy that we're enjoying, or that is visible now, Local governments were paying teacher salary direct. They were in charge of waste and what have you. During the Asuajibola Med Tunumbu administration, a lot of councils were owing teacher salary. For years, salaries weren't paid. Some of them were not even cutting away their waste or even paying pensions. My administration paid those outstanding pensions that went into billions of Naira. They had to come up with an idea. There is a saying that if birds learn to fly without wings, hunters will learn to shoot without missing. They had to come up with an idea of this joint account. That is why you see the AUT, I mean, uh, what do you call the primary school union now? No, it's not AUT. They, are, they have a, a particular union that they call them. No, no, national. They have a union that they call them. When the National Assembly were clamoring for direct allocation to local government and uh, independency and all whatnot, the teachers rose up and have foretold it. 
that don't dare do that even if you do it don't put our salary back to their hands they don't want to go back to egypt as well you started that joint account thing and it worked there is something called first line charge yes the teacher salary pensions and all what not even down to local government staffs are removed now Lagos state went forward to create 37 local council areas as enshrined by the Nigerian constitution that gives them the power gives state the power to create more local government they have not gone out of line the national assembly refused to plug them into the federal allocation cord that is why any amount that comes to Lagos state is divided and some chunk of it is given to the LCDAs after the first line charges have been removed and that is why you see those figures that you see if those first line charges are not removed we have different people that have come to power for different reasons and they are protected by the constitution you can't tell them how to spend their money mm -hmm. they can bring up fictitious reasons using their legislators to say our priority now perhaps is to dish out money to old people and as long as it is passed by the budget and passed by the parliament it becomes law regardless of who will not get whatever that is due to them so that joint allocation did work and that is why you see that our development in nigeria is not even yes. even during the regional government mm. different people with different ideas and different purpose so if we don't want us except you say that we are a monolithic hu set of human beings with monolithic thinking that we ensure that regardless of what remains you must pay teachers you must pay this you must pay that some local government can decide to even employ more teachers that is necessary or more local government staff that is necessary that than necessary and these funds will just go to what is not ideally useful so please try and look into those figures very very well and you'll find out that it has not been mismanaged but again try and engage your local government chairman you have to engage them you have to ask questions and you must be part of the budget making if you're not part of that budget making they can decide on their own what they want to apply funds to you must engage them and not just singularly that is why it's good to engage in community activities cdas community development associations you must encourage them you are knowledgeable there are many of them that are running it you must interface with them let them see what is ideal and how to engage the system and like you say if you all engage the system they become timid they become very timid they are fearful people in power are fearful have been in power particularly when they see you talking about one particular issue and you have the mass number towards it because they derive their sovereignty from the people every four years they will come to renew sovereignty and you can protect and make sure that they are not voted for i you we say power is not server like that <laughs>